I have a little advice for a lot of my buyers and sellers these days, and um, that is real estate is not a sport. It's not meant to create an adrenaline rush when offers are accepted or rejected. Um, this week, I actually had three offers uh, from buyers rejected, uh, which is not the norm these days, but you know, every house is different. Every price point is different. And so a couple of my clients who got rejected, they felt like they lost or they were losers. And I said, Hey, in real estate, when you're buying and selling, especially when you're purchasing for yourself and your family, it's not a sport to write offers. It's not a sport. Uh, it's not a win lose situation. It's, Hey, there's a house here are the comparables. Here's what it's doing. If you want it, this is this is what you have to do to get it. And if you just want to try it, this is what you do to, to try it. Um, it's a very thought out process to make an offer. It is not a sport. You're not supposed to have this high and low. And, and it's a really hard thing to digest because it is in a very emotional process. And I think buyers and sellers get caught up, caught up um, in the news with what the interest rates are doing and what other buyers are doing, what other sellers are doing. Um, it's very challenging, and I've been doing this for long enough to know to just cut all of that out and make your own decision for yourself. And if you don't get a home that you offered on, it's okay. It's going to be okay. You're going to go on to the next. You're going to learn learn from what you didn't do to get that offer accepted. But sometimes it's just out of your control. Um, but lately, especially this past week, I've had a few clients that were like, ooh, I won the bid, or ooh, I lost. And I think the dialogue is incorrect. We're not in it to win or lose. We're in it to make a sound decision for our family. We're supposed to make the right decision based on the house and based on the numbers. So just wanted to share that.